Hey Shalom, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button. I'm going to finish the breakdown of the Gentile Helen Ethnos translation in the New Testament. I will constantly reveal the context of the letters of the Israelite prophets and who they are writing the letters to. Alright, Shalom. At that time, Rezin, king of Syria, recovered Elath to Syria and drave the Jews from Elath. Jew, a man of Judea. This name was properly applied to a member of the kingdom of Judah after the separation of the ten tribes. The term first makes its appearance just before the captivity of the ten tribes. 2 Kings 16 verse 6. New Testament Usage In the New Testament, the word Gentile is translated from two Greek words, ethnos and Helen, that are rendered into English in five different ways. The chart illustrates the various renderings along with their frequency of use. We will examine these two Greek words individually. Israelites in Judea the Circumcision Israelites of the dispersion, the uncircumcision, or the dispersed amongst the Greeks. Grecians were Greek-speaking Jews, folk of the dispersion, from areas predominantly Greek. Let's start with Luke 23, verse 2. Luke 23, verse 2. And they began to accuse him, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation, and forbidding to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ the King. Strong's G, 1484, Ethnos, Ethnos. A multitude of individuals of the same nature or genus. The human family, a tribe, nation, people group. In the Old Testament, foreign nations not worshiping the true God, pagans, Gentiles. Paul uses the term for Gentile Christians. All right, so let's go through Ethnos and Helen. They all gonna be translated the same way when you check it out for yourself. In the Old Testament, foreign nation, not worshiping the true God, pagans, Gentiles. A multitude of individuals of the same nature or genus the human family a tribe nation people group Paul uses the term for Gentile Christians so now we have to see the context of the translation of who the prophets are writing to the epistle from James chapter 1 James a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. To the twelve the tribes, tribes which are scattered, which are scattered abroad, 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 greeting. greeting. The prophets wrote letters to the Israelites scattered all over the earth. In the Old Testament, foreign nation, not worshiping the true God, pagans, Gentiles, a multitude of individuals of the same nature or genus the human family a tribe nation people group paul uses the term for gentile christians brothers you need to understand the translation of gentile helen and ethnos i cannot take you any deeper until you comprehend the translation i'm not into debating scriptures constantly on brothers who cannot figure it out there's no private interpretation. It's very simple. This school will help you navigate through hell so you don't fall under the snares of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and all the issues that we go through. Because we are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, meaning we don't know our laws, statutes, and commandments that give us a moral compass, we continue to die. We continue to go to jail. We continue to get shot down in the streets because we don't know how to behave under the Most High and what he requires of us under this curse in captivity. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed 
shalt thou be when thou goest out. Because we reject the Most High's laws and covenants, the Israelites will be born into hell and be cursed coming in and cursed coming out as a nation. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air and unto the beasts of the earth, and no man shall fray them away. And thou hang him on a tree. His body shall not remain all night upon the tree. But thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged is, is accursed, accursed of, God. of God. When they lynched us, they left us out for days, rotting out in the heat in the south and wherever they caught us. I'm going to drop the real American horror story of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. So we can go through all the curses so you can see exactly how the people of God and what they've gone through and how serious the curse is. The curse never ended, but Christ delivered us from the curse. But Christ has rescued us from the curse pronounced by the law. When he was hung on the cross, he took upon himself the curse for our wrongdoing. For it is written in the scriptures, cursed is everyone who is hung on a tree. For God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering for our sin, so that we could be made right with God through Christ. But with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Many are called, few are chosen. Every generation, the Most High has a set of Israelites that don't succumb to the wicked world. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Now how did the Israelites start learning to speak Greek? We came out of so many captivities. Let's find out. Hellenism refers to the spread of Greek culture. Judeans spoke Greek and became the official language that had begun after the conquest of Alexander the Great in the 4th century. There was a wicked set of Israelites called the Hasmonean dynasty. They embraced Greek culture, pagan culture, even tried to convert Edomites into the priesthood. Soon we'll go into the Maccabees dynasty. We will talk about Judas Maccabeus and the hammer. Paul of the tribe of Benjamin founded the church of Corinth. From there he moved on to Ephesus a city in the west coast of today's Turkey, preaching the good news to the lost tribes of Israel and Greece. These books are great reads. They will help you understand the racist historians that hide blacks in antiquities. Black in Antiquities Before Color Prejudice by Frank M. Snowden. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their border, behold. And the people of Judah and Jerusalem were sold to their enemies, the Greek Edomites, sold on the auction block, soon adopting the Greek culture and speaking Greek. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? The Jews are the Judean Israelites, the heathen Greek Edomites or those Gentiles, and teach the Gentiles or the Greek-speaking Judeans of the Diaspora. In the Old Testament, foreign nation, not worshiping the true God, pagans, Gentiles, a multitude of individuals of the same nature, or genus, the human family, a tribe, nation, people group. Paul uses the term for Gentile Christians. Once you know how to translate Gentile, Helen, and Ethnos, you'll be able to know the context of the scriptures and the exclusive letters to the scattered Israelites. And when they opposed themselves and blasphemed, he shook his raiment and said unto them, Your blood be upon your own heads. I am clean. From henceforth, 
I will go unto the Gentiles. Paul the Apostle is talking about the Israelites. Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil, of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Paul is talking about the Jews who are the Judeans, the Israelites in Judea, the circumcised. The Gentiles, Paul is talking about the Israelites of the dispersion, the uncircumcised, the dispersed amongst the Greeks. For he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. We know Israelites are not heathens, but they took heathens and they translated it the same way. And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, James, Cephas, and John are not going to risk their lives to convert Edomites, Hamites, or non-Israelites. They went to teach the Israelites of the dispersion. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Pentecost was one of Israel's three major high holy days, Feast of Weeks. Israelites of the dispersion from all over the world traveled to celebrate. They had the Parthian Israelites, Israelites from Egypt, Israelites that came out of Arabia, Israelites from Asia. They spoke different languages and could not understand each other until the Most High made them become bilingual. And then they started speaking languages, which is tongues. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded, because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Now, in the name of Jesus, Father God, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, lift your holy voice in this place tonight. Father God in heaven raise They wasn't doing mekaleka high knee ho bakalaka laka bing dong ding dong They wasn't doing all of that They were Israelites from all over the world speaking different languages and the Most High gave them the ability to comprehend each other in their language Who shall not fear thee O Lord and glorify thy name for thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. Revelations 15 and 4. The nations. The nations are the 12 tribes of Israel. They represent 12 nations to the Most High. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Luke 23. And the whole multitude of them arose, and led him unto Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation, and forbidding to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ a king. That was the black Pharisees accusing Christ of taking their position, and not accepting the Messiah. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation I will anger you. I will provoke you to jealousy. The acceptance of the gospel by the Gentiles provoked the Judeans to jealousy and anger. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. 
Or does it mean Jerusalem shall be trodden down by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled? Jerusalem is under the dominion of Gentile authority. From the time of Nebuchadnezzar's conquest of Jerusalem up until now, until 2023, it is occupied and controlled by non-Israelites. For this man doeth many miracles. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him, and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. That he was worthy for whom he should do this, for he loveth our nation, and he hath built us a synagogue. And they said, Cornelius the centurion, a just man, and one that feareth God, and of good report among all the nation of the Jews, was warned from God by an holy angel to send for thee into his house, and to hear words of thee. Cornelius was a descendant of the lost tribes of Israel. The Most High is not going to send out the prophets out to speak to a heathen, a non-Israelite, that isn't from the seed of Jacob. It makes no sense. It's contradictory and not according to the exclusive doctrine of the Israelites. Now let's go through some of the exclusive doctrine of the Israelites in the New Testament. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. She shall bring forth a son. Thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. Once you study this breakdown, you'll be able to knock out these lies. And then you'll understand why you're going to lose patience for a lot of people who don't want to study and get it. They want to continue under this false doctrine of Christianity. Peace.